and welcome to my kitchen. And today I wanted to come to you with a little bit of an announcement. Um, for the first time ever, I've decided to um, undertake a service project. Um, the holidays are on their way and we always focus on the holidays are coming and we always focus on preparing and gifting gifts and making the holidays special for our family and our loved ones. But um, I thought it might be nice to start a tradition where annually I do a service project where I choose a charitable organization and I go ahead and we collect money and that all those funds are going to be donated directly to that organization. Now, um, this past summer, I was fortunate enough to meet a couple who are missionaries from Africa and they have a nonprofit organization called um, Fresh Revival Fire Ministries. It was started by Reverend Kathleen Masuba. I had the opportunity to meet her this summer when she and her husband came to my church and talked about their orphanage and their ministry and their outreach in Uganda. And Reverend Kathleen gave her testimony and shared with us her experience about how she was called to do the work that she does. And I was very moved by her story and I was moved by her willingness to help people on the other side of the world that basically have absolutely nothing. She has just under 30 children. They range in age from newborn to 17 years old. They survive only on donations from private donors like you and I. Now I'm a Christian, many of you know this, and this isn't about being Christian, it's about being human. It is about people taking care of each other. They are doing everything they can to keep their ministry alive, keep this orphanage running, and they are taking on the project of building a larger orphanage so that they can potentially take care of even more children. Now, I have almost 100,000 subscribers on my channel. If each one of you would donate one dollar, then we would have almost one hundred thousand dollars that we could share with children in Africa. But I have a personal connection with this particular charity now. There is power in numbers and many hands make light work. So I ask each one of you, please, if you find it in your heart to donate even a small amount and help me help the orphanage that Reverend Kathleen and her husband Mika and Fresh Revival Fire Ministries is a nonprofit organization, so your contribution will be tax deductible. Not only do they have an orphanage, they have a Safe African Mothers Outreach Project. They have a um, they have a school. They have a Bible study as incentive for your donations. For every ten dollar donation that I get, I'm going to give the donor uh, an e-copy of my Noreen's Kitchen Holiday Helper Cookbook. Uh, for every $25 donation that I get, I'm going to give them the Holiday Helper and the Cocos, Cookies, and More Galore e-cookbook. For every $50 donation that I receive, you'll get those two cookbooks, the Holiday Helper and the Cocos, Cookies, and More Galore, in addition to my newest cookbook, The Dinner in a Dash, all of these in e-cookbook format. If you would like to donate $100 or more, you're also going to receive all three of those e-cookbooks, plus you're going to have your name placed into a drawing for one of two sets of my cookbooks in hard spiral bound a version that will be signed by me and it's inscribed to the winner personally. This is what I can do. What do you think you can do? I've set an initial goal of $10,000, and I think that that is a small goal. I'm using a platform called Continue to Give. They are a faith-based collection organization uh, comparable to GoFundMe. They charge a smaller percentage rate because they do charge an administrative fee. And everything that we collect aside from the administrative cost of the collection process is going directly to Fresh Revival Fire Ministries and the House of Grace Orphanage. 
I would love to be able to keep this open until the 15th of December and I'll be coming to you with updates in that time. I really just want to do this and I'm hoping that you can help me. So all of the information is below. You can click through to the link to continue to give and you can go to the page that I have set up to collect this money to help the House of Grace Orphanage and Fresh Revival Fire Ministries. So you'll be able to watch uh, Reverend Kathleen's testimony and the video that you're watching right now will also appear on that page as well. So I'll leave you with that. Remember the incentives. I'll put them in the information box below as well and also on the Continue to Give page where you'll be able to see um, those incentives. Uh, you will have to leave me your email on the continue to give page so that I'll be able to send you the files for the ebooks and then we'll be able to go from there. So I thank you for taking the time to watch today. I thank you in advance for blessing the House of Grace Orphanage and these children in Uganda who you most likely will never get to know. I hope that you have an amazing holiday season and let's all work together to make this world a better place. So until next time, I'll see ya. Thank you for joining me in my kitchen today. I hope you like what you watch today, and I hope that you try it, and I hope that you love it. Um, if you like what you saw, please consider hitting the thumbs up button and giving me a positive rating. And also, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you're already not a subscriber, so that you don't miss out on any of the fun we have here in our kitchen every single day. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm really glad that you're here. Thank you for stopping by. Don't forget to come by tomorrow.